So I'm here with Matt Wilson, the co-founder of Under 30 Media, and he's their adventurer in residence and head of their new Under 30 Experiences program. And Matt and I are kind of peas in a pod when it comes to our love for both travel and entrepreneurship, as well as our desire to help other people enjoy some of the amazing experiences that both of those passions have brought to us. So I'm really excited to have him here with us today. Matt, thanks so much for taking the time out to chat. You are very welcome, Kate. So um, maybe we should probably go ahead and start with you giving us a little bit of background about Under 30 Media and especially Under 30 CEO and Under 30 Experiences, if that's cool with you. Sure, sure. I know that's a uh, that's a mouthful of a lot of Under 30s there. <laughs> but basically, we are... Um, I, I started when... Geez, five years ago now um, with under30ceo.com and we rolled out a website for entrepreneurs because basically we were, um, myself and my business partner Jared O'Toole were trying to figure out, hey, how do we start a business and there needs to be resources for young people. Nobody is talking about this stuff online if you can believe it. I mean, all of these young entrepreneur bloggers all pretty much have popped up in the last five years, which is, you know, amazing movement of people trying to do something that they're actually passionate about instead of graduating school and getting their diploma and going and sitting in a cubicle for the rest of their lives. Um, mm -hmm. So we started under 30 CEO.com. We published news, advice, interviews, articles, all that kind of stuff um, to help young people start businesses. And um, then the travel bug kind of bit me. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, we have we have a half a million people that visit under 30 ceocom every month. So it's you know it's running really, really well. Um, and so I ended up realizing you know, getting it to that point was very, very difficult. Um, just a lot of long hours and uh, and creating content. Um, and so I took a random trip to Iceland and I literally had an epiphany was standing there on a glacier looking out at this volcano that erupted in 2010 um, and I said wait a second you know I haven't I haven't been abroad since college um, is this is sitting behind a computer how I want to spend what they call the best years of your life and I said the only thing like I had such a magical experience there in Iceland um, that I said the only thing that could have made this better is if I had a bunch of other amazing young people to be able to uh, share this with and so sure enough we said wait a second I think that's uh, that could be a cool little business let's give it a shot and now we're running a trip every single month um, we have I'm going to Nicaragua in 10 days after that I'm going skiing in Alaska then uh, back to Costa Rica then to Iceland then to Peru and Machu Picchu so we've got a lot of really cool stuff planned so uh, yeah, we're really excited about what, what what about what we've done. That's pretty amazing. So, are most of your uh, participants in the under thirty experiences entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs, or does that bug kind of bite them once they're traveling and they realize, hey, I'd like to be able to do this all of the time. Maybe I should start my own thing. Yeah, a little bit of both. So, of course, we started with under thirty co dot com, and because we're well known on the space and advertise on that site so much. Um, we do get a lot of at least entrepreneurial minded people, but really it's, you know, really the people who you share this experience with on under 30 experiences are just motivated in general. So people who, you know, are interested in nonprofit or just mindful people in general, uh, those who want to go and connect with others while they're on a trip, but not necessarily in Cancun on spring break. Awesome. So I know that obviously, like we just said, you have quite a few entrepreneurs and or aspiring entrepreneurs on your trips. And you've also met with people in a bunch of these different countries. I know you've talked with people in like microfinance and entrepreneurship and economic development and all kinds of stuff like that. So what have you noticed in terms of similarities and differences? And I apologize. I know this is a super broad question, but what have you noticed in terms of similarities and differences between sort of the entrepreneurial ecosystems and um, of entrepreneurial development amongst the communities that you visit in other countries outside the U.S. 
So you're right, it is a tough question, um, but I guess I can kind of tell you about my personal experience. Um, so when we first started doing this, we just reached out to whoever we could, um, who, who were the people that we knew who could possibly help us out. And so when we were in Iceland, um, I got a, you know, I was doing a lot of social media, we have a great social media following, and on Twitter, a venture capitalist reached out and said, oh, don't you have this site under 30 CEO? what's with this travel thing and so I replied to him and we ended up meeting for coffee and he said well you know this is really awesome what you're doing um, why don't you investigate the startup scene so while our trips are not necessarily just for entrepreneurs we do you know because of the nature um, of being entrepreneurs ourselves yeah we got involved we like to kind of see what's going on and network while we're in these places um, and so we went to the U.S. Embassy and their whole their whole uh, thing is to help uh, trade relations between these two countries. So between the United States and Iceland, um, you know, we got involved and said, OK. And, you know, they said, hey, you're bringing Americans um, to Iceland. That looks really good. What can we do to support you? So that's how we kind of learned, um, you know, in Iceland, they have an amazing startup scene. It's a really, really high-tech place um, everyone's very educated they were it they had the big financial collapse in 2007 and um, you know then they they kind of looked around and said well wait a second instead of just being uh, traders and trading derivatives amongst ourselves why don't we go and start real businesses and so that's what they that's the um, scope of what they're doing right now and then the people in the US Embassy were able to connect us on our next trip uh, when we went to Nicaragua and so I went down there so I go to all the places before um, and make sure you know that they're safe and that we pick out the perfect place and um, curate all the experiences and meet people on the ground so that they're very authentic like when we go to Nicaragua we literally meet with micro entrepreneurs who are who are starting you know, handbag businesses and weaving them to feed their families and support, um, yeah, to, to support their communities financially like that. So while, again, while they're not entrepreneur trips, we do like to give everyone a nice scope of uh, what, what real life is like in these places. And in Nicaragua, they're just experiencing the, the rebirth of capitalism because they were communist country until 1990. And um, so now there, uh, yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on there. Um, and so, yeah, so that's kind of the, the uh, it's kind of a long answer, but um, yeah, it's all across the chart for sure. Gotcha. And so where are you and your business partner technically based? Or where is Under 30 Media technically based? And then that may so, or may not be the same as <laughs> you guys. Yes, so currently I am in New York and it is snowing out and I'm wearing my hat and you probably see our under30co.com sign behind us. Um, I do. We are, uh, so we're in New York right now, but March 31st I have a one-way ticket to Costa Rica and uh, I'm going there for a while and then I will re-meet back up with our group um, for Memorial Day weekend in Iceland and in between who knows exactly what will happen. Well, I'm in Mexico City right now, so if you want to come over to Mexico, and I actually do have a friend at the embassy, so maybe we can set up an under 30 experiences to Mexico sometime soon. <laughs> that sounds cool. We'll have to talk about that. Great. So uh, last question, I think, for you is, obviously, you said you're sort of based in New York, but you're traveling a ton. So what tips do you have for an entrepreneur that's always on the road to keep everything under control with their business and make sure everything's running smoothly while they're always out on the road working from a laptop or a cell phone? Sure. So, yeah, last year, um, I mean, I spent eight out of the 12 months uh, abroad. And um, honestly, the thing that saved me was the iPhone. And as long as you're over an iPhone 4, you can have a SIM card and I have a phone number in every single country and it really doesn't cost a lot. Um, and you can always be connected in most places to, to the 3G network and of course you have your Wi-Fi. And I mean, our, as entrepreneurs, our whole life is, is on this thing. Um, and other than that, I travel really light. I do bring my laptop, um, I leave the iPad at home. And um, yeah, taking advantage of, of technology and then 
most of the places that I do go are warm, so you can really travel light. Um, I am. I was just looking at a new backpack because I'm going skiing in Alaska in March, and so that's uh, that's a cold weather location. And we go to Iceland, but it's Memorial Day weekend. It's it's summertime in Iceland. It's 24 hours of daylight, so it's uh, you know you don't need a lot of gear. Um, but yeah, travel light and bring your iPhone and don't complicate things. People are always asking me, hey, what apps do you use? I have a hundred of them. I only have like, I only use the basics um, and it works out really well for me. So uh, minimalism is definitely key when you're traveling. Yeah, absolutely. And it is amazing how cheap data actually is in a lot of great places. The phone calls and the texting can get, be kind of pricey, but if you're using like WhatsApp or something like that to, for your texting, the data is incredibly inexpensive in most of the countries that I've been to. So I'm the same way, phone swapping out the SIM card, thousands of phone numbers in different countries. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. So if anybody, I'm sure now after hearing you talk, everybody is really interested and would like to go on some of these trips with you guys. So where can people get more information? Sure, um, really, really easy, under30experiences.com. If anybody would like to connect, I'd be happy to, to chat with them. Matt, M-A-T-T, at under30experiences.com. Um, would love to, yeah, go on a trip, travel with you. Kate, hopefully our paths will cross, uh, at cross in the near future. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much for your time, Matt. Sounds good, Kate, thanks. Did you find this video helpful or fun? Then share it with a friend who you think would benefit from the dish. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you never miss any of the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your business grow. And you get to see my adventures through the wide world of entrepreneurship and how I use the freedom running my own business gives me. Also, remember to head over to katecosta.com so you can get in on the conversation about how to build your business to success so you can live your life your way.